why couldn't it just work? Plenty of fans of the boat are asking just that. A likable, relatable quarterback from right down the road. Well, the Blake Bortles era in Jacksonville ended earlier this month with the arrival of Nick Foles and subsequent release of their former number three overall pick. Right. Hey. Whoa. All right, that's all you're going to do. I don't the youth of Oviedo treated with a morning of football and fun with their favorite quarterback, Blake Bortles, today. Now a member of the Los Angeles Rams, Blake made sure to make his annual trip to the city that made him the man he is today. Our own Brent Martineau also made the trip down to Central Florida, catching up with Oviedo's favorite son. I want to talk about this stuff first, the foundation uh, and coming back here and doing it. We've talked about it. We've documented it. Uh, you were Walton Payton, man of, man of the Year nominee. That had to mean something to you to see what you've been doing for the last handful of years in this place and in Jacksonville um, and to kind of be recognized for it, right? Yeah, it's definitely special uh, to kind of, I mean, that was one of the cooler things that um, I've ever been a part of and nominated for uh, in my life to, to do that and have people recognize uh, and appreciate the difference that, you know, all 32 of the nominees and so many more guys across the league are trying to make in the communities uh, that they play in or, or that they're from um, and was cool and, and the fact that all of us do this and nobody ever expects to be nominated or be shown um, any sort of appreciation for that I, th I think you know I'm speaking on behalf of everybody when we all do it because it's stuff we really care about and are passionate about and you know have a platform to make a difference and want to do so so um, it was pretty cool to be a part of that and be you know in that group of 32 men was it nice to kind of put what you do in perspective and take the football aside of it and all the criticism, but actually be applauded for the bigger picture, the platform that you get to use and, and help people out. Right, no, totally. Um, I mean, it, it, and I've never had a problem with, um, you know, if you're going to criticize me on how I am as a football player, I, I get that. There's people that there's jobs is to talk about how we play yeah, yeah. Um, as players, and I've never had a problem with that. Uh, but I think, like you talked about, it kind of changes the perspective and the lens of it all when you're able to come out here and do this and, and hold a youth camp on, you know, the football field that I grew up playing on. Um, really kind of puts it all into perspective and uh, kind of, I think, just sets the priorities and uh, what's important in life. Is there a responsibility for you here? Uh, because I was talking to your dad and I said, is, is there another NFL guy comes from Oviedo High School? Uh, I know yeah. Haggerty now exists too, right. and Jeff Driscoll's from yeah. over there, but do you feel a sense of responsibility as someone that these kids can look up to and your name's going to always be associated with this place? You know, I think, um, I guess I could just hope for, you know, I, growing up, I never, I, all I wanted to do was play at the next level. I wanted to be, um, as a kid coming and watching Friday night games here, uh, I, I wanted to be the quarterback on a Friday night. And then I started doing that and I was like, wow, now I really want to play on Saturdays. I want to be a college football player. And then that kind of, um, you know, transition and wow, I'm going to have a chance to play in the NFL. And, you know, I, I hope that, um, you know, whether I've carve the path or whatever you want to say I, I can be a guy that you know kids can look up to and say he he went through the same programs that we went through he lived in the same place he went to the same school he sat in the same classrooms and he made it to the NFL you know so hopefully give kids um, the hope that that you know it's possible and they can do it as well that being said I also feel like there's a sense you come home and there's an appreciation for Blake Bortles. I mean, I know sometimes in Jacksonville that's not right. always the case from a football or in the world you live in, it's not always the case. But is there almost a sense of comfort oh, here that, that people like, they know Blake Bortles yeah. and they think Blake Bortles is cool regardless right. of stats or what anybody else is talking about? Right, yeah, this will always be home. And there's so many people, and that was, because you kind of get in the fishbowl, right? Living in Jacksonville, Jacksonville, you get in the fishbowl of, you know, you know, everybody thinks I'm suck, everybody hates me, everybody this, everybody that. Um, and be able to come here and hang out with everybody and see so many people that were um, you know huge parts of my life growing up and mentors to me and uh, you, you see that they don't care how you do it, how you are as a football player like you said they, they know they know who I am as a person um, and that's the person that they care about uh, and, and anything else you know football wise or sports career wise is kind of just extra uh, good or bad it's you know it's part of it I heard something today when you walked in here I, did, I told you this I don't think I, I'd ever hear you said hold on I have to change a diaper yeah yeah well uh, Remy didn't get uh, she didn't get her morning dumping. We had to leave early, so when uh, we we made it all the way down here, and um, it was time for a diaper change. So how's dad life? It's awesome. She's incredible. Um, it it'll be a challenge to go to California and be that far away from her, uh, but figure out ways to to see her as much as possible. Does it change you? 
maturity, yeah, yeah. all those things that and, and even and having her um, around. I mean, she's only 15 months old, but having her around this past year and going through all that, uh, it was awesome because that was something that um, you know even my parents loved me, right? And, yeah. and going home to them, they watch the game, they know football, they know sports, and um, I mean, my dad will tell me I didn't play good at the drop of a hat. So there was a lot of that going on there. <laughs> to be able to see her and, and have her have no idea um, what I was doing, how I'd play, who cared if I played good or bad, it, it was awesome. It kind of, um, you know, like so many of these things to put it all in perspective. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's cliche, but it, I mean, it really. You've heard guys say that before, yeah, right? Yeah, but, and, and you really never works. understand it until until yeah. you have that, um, you know, because when when I didn't have a daughter and it was just me, it was kind of, uh, it's all you could think about. It was all I ever cared about was was football and how can we win and how can I play better and um, that's still all you think about. But at the same time, it's kind of a breath of fresh air to kind of have somebody that's around and, and loves you regardless of, of how you play, uh, how you play the game. Uh, lastly, will you stay tied to Jacksonville? I know you're going to keep the house for a bit, but the foundation, uh, you know, once this all clears out and 10 years from now, will Blake Bortles still be going back to Jacksonville as, as the guy that built a bit of a foundation? Right. You know, I don't know. We're not going to do the golf tournament there this year. Um, they're still going to do the POW camp. Uh, unfortunately, I can't be there. Uh, I'll be in L.A. But I, I think as far as the football camp, I, you know, I don't think we have plans to stop that. That's something that's really cool that we've partnered with POW and been able to do that. Um, and it's been awesome. Uh, and, and I don't know, you know, maybe we move the golf tournament down here to Oviedo and do it, um, do it down here around the same time as this. So it's all kind of stuff to figure out. Um, you know, I have, I have zero, um, zero negative feelings towards Jacksonville. That, uh, that's, that's definitely will still be home for a while. Can Novito guy make it in LA? I don't know. I guess the good thing is like we're north of LA, like we're out of there a little bit. The traffic and uh, there's a lot going on out there. <laughs>